Hi everyone, this is Michael. And lots of great things have happened in the Tesla world. We had an amazing interview from Elon Musk and Sandy Monroe, in which we gathered even more insights into what's happening with Tesla and the technology, as well as the new confirmation of the new $25,000 Tesla, which is gonna be a total game changer for Tesla because of the volumes that it's going to bring, as well as explain some of the engineering discussed that will help Tesla dominate the electrical car sector. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing to Electric Invest and hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next video. And without further ado, let's just get right into it. So first and foremost, I want to talk about the interview that Elon had with Sandy Monroe, which I don't believe needs an introduction right now. But for some of you who don't know, Sandy Monroe is a very well experienced engineer in the automotive world who has been hired for many, many companies to be able to analyze their products as well as come up with better solutions for their existing products. And he has definitely been a tremendously great source to Tesla. Basically, they purchased Teslas to be able to break them down and analyze everything that's in side of them from the electronics to the build quality to the engineering structures and thanks to him he has been able to actually cause Tesla to make changes to their vehicles one of the most notable ones was the die casting of the Model Y which is a complete structure of the backside of the Tesla Model Y the Sandy Monroe found to be extremely useful the less parts you have and still being able to have the same functionality and rigidity the better because it saves in costs it makes production faster as well as making research and development that much more pleasant because now you don't have to spend so much money in figuring out new ways of doing things when you found out the ultimate way. Now what you've got is a casting like this on one side, but it really, it, it incorporates the whole rear end of the car. And what did he show us on battery day? He's doing the same thing with the front of a car. And during the interview with Elon, Sandy Monroe was able to explain his disappointments in finding out that the 2021 Model 3 that they had still had issues and panel gaps, and it also lacked the rear casting that all of the 2020 Model Ys already come with. But Elon was able to give a very good response as to why this is happening. We have a couple of little problems with our car. And then I see another car and it's a perfect build. If I would have had that, it, you know, it took us a while to kind of iron out the production process, um, especially during a production ramp. So the organizational structure errors, they manifest themselves in the product. And there were a lot of uh, right answers to the wrong question. Um, so somebody would say like, well, what's the best material to make this little section of the body out of? Or, and what's the right material to make this little section? And way better to have a single piece casting. Um, mm -hmm. And then you don't have any gaps, no sealant. Uh, you, don't, you don't have dissimilar metals. And you can uh, re reduce the size of the body shop dramatically. Right. Um, so just, just having the, the rear body castings for Model Y uh, allowed us to uh, reduce the, the body shop by 30%. Yeah. So there's, a, there's roughly 1,000 robots uh, on the Model 3 body line, which, by the way, is also not a figure of merit. You want fewer things, not more. Yeah. Um, we, we got rid of 300 robots. Uh, just with that rear body casting. Yeah. And then we're, we're, when we go to the front body casting, we're getting rid of another 300 robots. Right. And just for a quick explanation, the Megacast or Gigapress casting machine is basically a machine that utilizes a new alloy developed by Tesla that has the ability to endure the casting process at high temperatures in such a large volume of area that can form the entire structure of a lower part of a vehicle. And this is extremely important because this is the new way that Tesla is able to save on cost, improve manufacturing speed, as well as increase tremendously the safety of the vehicles because when you combine the rear and the front Gigacast Cast, along with the new 4680 batteries that are going to be structural to the Tesla's vehicles, you get a vehicle that is more rigid. It has the weight of the car distributed more closer to the center of the vehicle, also helping with handling. So the sales become structure. Um, and that's like what I, the point I was trying to make at the, um, the battery drape presentation. But I think a lot of people didn't quite understand why that's such an important thing. So like basically to what degree is like the mass grouped towards the center as opposed to spread out towards the, the outside. Like you can see this like with like an ice skater where um, if the ice skater uh, holds arms out, it, you rotate slowly, brings yeah. arms in, rotate right. fast. Right. That's what polar, that's, that's what's meant by polar moment of inertia. And he gave a good example about a figure skater that she spins slower when she has her hand standing out or her body standing out, but as she brings her body mass closer to the center, she's able to speed faster, which means that gravity doesn't have that much of a pull on her. So any electrical car or any car whatsoever that is able to distribute their weight closer to the center of their gravity is gonna have the best handling ever of any production car, which along with the structural battery is something that is extremely important 
that a lot of people don't seem to actually pay attention to. You know, the, the, the cells today in every car are carried like a sack of potatoes. Exactly. They, have, they, they actually have negative uh, structural value. Not only do they, they don't serve to um, aid in the structure of the car, so, so then you've got to put mass into isolating the, the, the cells. That's right, the structural batteries do not need to be isolated, which means that you don't need to add additional components to lower the vibrations and impacts of the battery from the road and the driving. So, so having the battery be structural to the vehicle is a massive reason why Tesla will continue to beat the competition. And as many of you guys already know, Tesla is already ramping up tremendously fast on the 4680 battery, which is the key sauce here for the future vehicles, you know, the Semi, the Cybertruck, the $25,000 Tesla, paired up with the Giga Cast machines which are going to become the whole ecosystem of the new products that Tesla are going to be starting in 2021 and into 2022. And like Elon Musk described in the earnings call, better manufacturing with the ability to have more batteries is definitely what's going to dictate the growth of Tesla when it comes to the vehicle side. That leads me to my next point here. As of right now, Tesla currently has two of these Giga casting machines in the Fremont factory that are producing the rear mega cast for the Model Y's underbody. And some drone enthusiasts have actually been roaming around the factory and by analyzing how many times the casting machine is able to cycle, they were able to deduce that the machines are able to do a complete cycle every 170 seconds. And this is likely due to the fact that it is still brand new. They're still trying to optimize the performance of the machine so that it is able to do a cycle every 80 to 90 seconds like it was estimated by Tesla earlier in the year. Now you guys are probably wondering why is this so important? Well, I'm about to explain to you guys exactly why. So the way that every other automaker produces their vehicles is by having hundreds and hundreds of parts glued together, further adding to the complexity of the production and cost and time to produce in the manufacturing process. So that is not necessarily the way anybody who's trying to dominate in the sector should strive to go to. And according to a report from teslarady.com, there was another report in July from Germany that hinted that Tesla is actually planning on producing 2 million vehicles per year in the Giga Berlin complex, allowing for a 16% of expected electric car market share in Europe. And they go on adding that if phase one alone could produce more than 500,000 vehicles per year with its eight Giga presses, a 2 million annual output for the entire Germany-based Tesla plant would be very realistic. And this leads me to a brand new report that just came out today as of the time of making this video and that is on the confirmation of this $25,000 Tesla and on January 29th Tesla received approval from the Lincoln Area Development and Construction Management Committee and this essentially means that the phase two of the China plant is set to be ready for the new model vehicle and it's already approved. This new model is the $25,000 Tesla which is expected to come out in 2022. So this is just exciting news because it is now confirmed and not just a rumor that it's set to be for next year. I would like to know from you guys, are you guys excited about this $25,000 Tesla? Do you think it's possible? That is something that I am very curious about because I definitely see how this could help. And with more and more analysts giving Tesla stock a prediction over $1,000 specifically specifically due to the fact that they can see that Tesla is going to definitely increase by at least that 50% in production. I still think that Tesla is undervalued in my opinion, obviously maybe not as a day-to-day -day trading because the entirety of the market could be argued to be overvalued, especially most of the tech stocks that are trading at high PE ratios and whatnot. But looking forward into 2021, it is still a good opportunity to buy Tesla in my opinion. This is not financial advice, but it is definitely my understanding. Now there's a lot of details that I missed that I wasn't able to include in this video because I didn't want to make it too long. I just wanted to focus this video on the mega casting side of the interview from Elon Musk and Sandy Monroe, which, which is extremely important, especially because it will help Tesla ramp up on the production production of the vehicles a lot better and approved that in Giga Shanghai in China that the $25,000 Tesla is definitely going to become a reality, uh, not just a rumor or not just something that we don't know when. So this is something that I wanted to share with you guys. Obviously, I would love to read your comments in the section below. Let me know if you guys like this type of videos in which I also cover the technology and give you guys my understandings on that. I understand that it can be a little bit difficult to follow. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give a fat like. It, it really does help on the channel. If you're still watching up until this point you are awesome and if you haven't subscribed already consider subscribing to electric invest and hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next video on tesla and with that being said guys i'll see you guys in the next video